Hey everyone, just wanted to take a moment out of the day and celebrate the fact that 42 years ago today, the original Phantasm was released in theaters. Now I'm a huge Phantasm fan. I have been since I was a kid. In fact, one of the, one of the funny things is I remember the first time I saw it was actually on TV and I couldn't figure out how to actually pronounce the title. I mean, it's like not sound like an idiot, but I was a kid, I was a young kid and I couldn't figure out that the PH was actually a F sound. So it was like, Pahanzas, like I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't pronounce it. So I remember when I actually found out how to pronounce it correctly, I felt so smart. But even from that first viewing, I remember just being so enthralled by the film and just really kind of pulled in. I think especially, you know, since I was a young kid and the lead character is also a young kid, you know, I think there was also that sort of uh, semi-relatability to it. And I grew up watching it over the years. And, you know, it's like, I don't have a ton of Phantasm stuff, but I do have a couple things. Uh, as you can see here in my Phantasm shelf, as I like to call it, which I do need to organize a little bit better. This whole shelving unit, actually, I do want to do a separate video on. It actually has a lot of shelves of some of my favorite things. But obviously in the back there is one of my uh, Angus Scrim autographs, which I'm very, very happy to have. And even though it keeps falling over, that is the uh, older uh, McFarlane Phantasm, I think Phantasm 2 uh, set figure set. And in the back there, that is my uh, Phantasm replica sphere. I got that uh, several years ago. I also got that case, which I absolutely love. A little hard to see in the photo. And then just a couple other things. I obviously got sort of like a little 3D of the version of the poster. Uh, the old VHS tape, which I was really happy when I found that uh, at a store uh, just a couple years ago. And I paid maybe 50 cents for it. Probably doesn't play or anything but i was just happy to find because it's an original like vhs from way back then I, I i did first maybe not the first release but definitely the second release of it on vhs the cd there is actually from the laserdisc set which i do have in the back and that is the uh one that was uh limited to i think like 2500 copies and that cd uh came with it it's actually a 24 karat gold plated uh cd which is very cool to have and those two little mondo pins in the back and i see actually on top of the phantasm spheres that sort of mondo a Christmas ornament and obviously the more recent sort of blu-ray releases I've you know the original box set from well go USA as well as the uh one from last year not last year yeah last year <laughs> That came with the replica, the Sphere re replica. And then obviously one of my favorite uh, posters I have is of course my original Phantasm poster, which I have uh, been lucky enough to actually have autographed over the years by pretty much, I think all the main people. I don't think I'm really missing anybody. I mean, I'm sure there were a couple people that I never got to meet, but definitely the main cast uh, and obviously Don Coscarelli himself, which I've been lucky enough to meet a couple times. If you ever get to meet Don Coscarelli, he is just, he is a blast. As you can see here, I think it's one of the last times I, I saw him, which was a couple years ago at a uh, flashback weekend. Actually it was, because that was the night uh, he showed the restored version of Phantasm. I think, that, in fact, I think, I think at that point it had only been shown maybe once before. So that was really cool. I've been lucky enough to see Phantasm twice on the big screen. That was one in that restoration. And then also years prior at, I think a music box of horrors uh, in Chicago when I lived there, that's a 24 hour uh, marathon. They showed an original 35 millimeter print of it. And it was very faded and everything, but I loved it. Cause it was like, yeah, that's an original print from when the movie came out. Obviously I didn't get to see it in the theater back then. So that was a very cool experience. But yeah, I love Phantasm. I have since I was a kid, since I first saw it that night on TV and couldn't pronounce the title. So I just want to take this moment and wish Phantasm a happy 42nd anniversary. So definitely let me know the first time you saw Phantasm and if you got any cool Phantasm uh, stuff. And actually, I just want to throw this out there to all the companies that make all these like, you know, statues and stuff that I have. A tall man statue would be pretty awesome. Just throwing that out there. So as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.